I don't have many fears in life, but if I have to choose one, it will be this. A small talk that starts with the question, and what do you do for a living? Hi, my name is Natalie, and I'm a pilot. Just kidding, I am not. I'm also not a baker, not a photographer, and not a manager, even though I used to be all of the above. I think it would be cool for me to be a pilot. And then I could name this video One Day in Life is a Pilot, and millions of people will watch it. Instead, it's called Prologue. And why is that, you might be wondering? Well, let me introduce you to my biggest challenge in life, and it's called Career. I was not joking when I said that Number one question that makes my palms sweat is when someone asks me, what do you do? <laughs> Just like now, I could physically feel my body shrinking and uh, me making myself small and trying to hide and maybe even put my hood on. I had to change my background because I want to have some near miracle. I didn't realize it would be so hard for me to open up. It's already 4 p.m. and I started to record at 11 and it's not even my first uh, day of recording this series. I wrote a perfect script with many jokes, but I just couldn't uh, find strength, not strength, but it just didn't feel right. It, it feels like a polished scenario and my story was nothing but polished. I think all this experience is pushing me to do one thing that I fear the most and this thing is to be raw and vulnerable. I think I use humor to protect myself because a lot of people see me as joyful and uh, going out there, following her dream, and all of this is true. I also see myself this way, but there is also part of me that is scared and down and hard on myself. And I feel like uh, this experience is pushing me to embrace this part of me too. I love this background. I really want to be a person who have a straight uh, career path and for the longest time I tried to fit in in this description of being normal which in my eyes looks as uh, you go to the university, you graduate the university, you find a job and you stay in this industry for 10-15 years and uh, you can call yourself yourself expert in it. But my life journey was nothing like this. I started normal and I thought I knew what I was going to do in life. Uh, I graduated from tech university and I worked in tech for seven years. Uh, but after five, I think, I started to feel this feeling inside that something was missing for me in that experience. Even though I worked with wonderful people, participated in amazing, interesting projects and made very good income, I started to feel this uh, feeling inside that something was missing for me and um, I had to try something different. And uh, as a very analytical, left brain person, I tried hard to not listen to this voice inside and to push through, through these feelings. And um, it worked for two years, but uh, then I reached a point in life that no amount of money in the world could blow down that voice. It was so loud and I was so unhappy that I did the only thing that I knew was right for me, even though a lot of people thought that I was crazy and um, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Honestly, I didn't think I, I knew, but yeah, I did the only thing that I knew was right for me. I quitted my full-time job and it was a huge leap of faith for me. In the years that follow and it's been eight years now i would organize a running club i would bake cakes to order i would move to a different country 
I would be a blogger, a photographer here. And don't get me wrong, I was very good at all of these things, but the one thought that ha I had in my mind always was that I need to trim myself to in order to fit in, in order to call myself a photographer or a baker. It just, it was one part of me, but it was not whole me and I always wanted to find something that would have my whole heart. In the last eight years I experienced the highest highs and the lowest lows of, uh, of the lifetime. Uh, I experienced the utter joy from being true to myself for taking that leap of faith but also I experienced the the greatest struggle, the misery when I found myself crying on the floor and um, constantly thinking that why I cannot be like everybody else, why I cannot stay in one career, why I always need to try something different. And it, it was in those moments of um, despair when I jokingly told that when I figure this thing out, I will write a memoir about my life. And maybe I still haven't figured it out, but I learned so much and I lived through so many stories during this time that I realized that if I continue to keep them to myself, it would be unfair and also I would simply explode. Oh boy! Can you tell it's getting dark outside? Because it is. I had to take another break from recording because it's, it proves harder than I thought it would be. Anyway, what I was going to say at the end is, who knows, maybe we were never meant to stay on one path. Maybe we were always meant to go out there, to try new things, to be different, messy and wild. I don't claim to know all the answers. I'm pretty much still in the middle of figuring it out. But I also know that I cannot be the only one. Uh, I know there are people out there who also feel this way and maybe this is you or maybe you know someone who is going through something similar. Uh, and if anything, I can have these videos to myself, so when someone asks me what have you been up to, I can send them the links. But all jokes aside, I think it's time. I think it's time for all of us to be courageous, to be bold, to not be afraid to take up more space, to share our truth, to share our beliefs, even, they, if, even if they are different from other people, even if other people will not understand or judge, I think we cannot uh, hide anymore. Believe me, I know how comfortable it is to be behind the camera, to see what other people are doing and to think that you somehow less than. But I also know that it's not true. It's, it's part of us that wants to fit in, to, that wants to blend, to be like everybody else. But there is also this part of us that is wildly different and I think we even can, cannot imagine what our lives would look like if we embrace this part of us fully. And even though I am terrified to share so openly uh, on the internet, I also believe this is a path to living that wild dream life. I certainly want to. And I hope you want it as well. This video is all over the place, I know. I, I imagine it will be smooth and funny and up to the point. But as I said, I couldn't make it this way. And maybe this is the point. That we are messy. We are raw. Even if we want to reject it. This video is called Prologue because, as I said, I want to 
write a memoir to tell this story about my life, about the last eight years from the point when I took a leap of faith and quitted my full-time job in tech to the point where am I now. So in the chapters that follow, I will tell you more about what happened in those years and I think it would be fun if I continue to record these videos. I hope I will do. I will push through this fear of not being enough and, and do what I always <laughs> preach to do. Be bold, courageous and wild. I hope I will post it, right? I will do it. I think so. If you are still watching it, then welcome to the story of my life.